Aloha everybody. Welcome to a quick little weekly walkabout. We've got a pretty bloody amazing auction this week. The Australiana and Decorative Art Sale. Probably one of the best auctions I think we've ever had. Have a quick look around, I'll show you some pretty damn cool stuff. Heaps of nice old Australian photographs and postcards and some lovely little micro model die cast, little taxi cab holden there. The shell tanker and a nice mobile gas tanker over the back. Little golden fleece tins of ripper. These are nice, these little bookmarks, little tin train, little giveaways out of an old kids' magazines. Little Australian pottery frog flower rates are quite unusual, no marks, but a nice little thing. Like this little bit of Martin Boyd up the top there, pretty typical little dish. Lovely bits of sterling silver, little cigar lighter and a lovely uh, calling card case. Looks like a nice little bit of Bendigo Dresden ware there, quite unusual and rare. A nice bit of Merrick Boyd crew from the fantastic little Melrose Inkwell and the Derbyshire Aboriginal seated figure as well. That's just the little, some nice little bits in the jewellery cabinet. You wait till see the rest of that stuff we've got. A pair of really cool little Featherstone dining chairs, I think model number D350. We've got the little retro coffee table around with the central drawer. We've got some beautiful stuff in the two cabinets. I've had to move a couple of cabinets in the front of the desk. We've got this amazing AWA Fisk um, Empire State white Bakelite radio. There's a couple of little uh, cracks in the case, but otherwise it is pretty good condition. All right, missing the little badge off the front as well, but that wouldn't be too difficult to stumble across. It works. Fantastic thing. We've got a lovely bronze over the back, signed A Leonardo or Leonardus or something like that. My memory's just gone a little bit. Lovely big Satsuma vase there with like hand-painted scene. Samurai sort of fighting in a snow-covered village. It's got a little bit of damage, but it's a beautiful thing. I like this little EP um, candle, a uh, little Vesta or a little candle maker. Lovely little thing, actually. Nice bit of Arta Halpern. I think it's a bit of Hoffman over the back there, the old Sundowner. Uh, lovely Peggy Whiting vase and a nice big bit of John Gilbert over the back. Harold Hewen in the front there. And lovely little uh, Royal Ducks bull, actually. Lovely little bit in the front. Some more nice pottery. Jolliffe and Remude and Campbell and... I think that's actually a bit of McHugh, which is quite unusual. Yeah, a bit of McHugh there, which looks a hell of a lot like, like, like a bit of John Campbell. It's an interesting little piece with a sort of windswept trees on its side to the base. Lovely bit of Castle Harris and a beautiful bit of Remude with the gum nuts and gum leaves. Now into that sort of final cabinet, which we're going to end up with. Got some beautiful bits. Lovely big Ian Sprague bowl down the bottom with all the details in fresh marks. Really like this old King Willie Wheaties, um, Wheaties packet. It's never been used. Looks to be about, oh shit, about 1930 or 1940, pardon the French. Amazing bit. Really cool big bit of Les Blakeborough as well. More Harold Hewen. Fantastic little crocodile skin camera case with a little camera inside, but a beautiful case. Nice big bit of sterling silver. Lovely English arts and crafts comport. It's got details marked in the back. Uh, guild, where it was made, who made it, and the rest of it. Nice big bit of uh, Pauline Delaney Australian glass. The Bendigo teapot. Another bit of Jolliffe. Another bit of Harold Hugh. And the large Stephen Benwell vase is beautiful over the back. Lovely pair of sterling silver candlesticks again. What else we got? Lovely big uh, Milton Moon charger. And some really nice things on the top shelf as well. Nice Merrick Boyd Crewful. Merrick and uh, Merrick Boyd vase there, decorated by his wife, uh, Doris Boyd. Beautiful landscape decoration around it. One of my favourite pieces this week. Love that. This is a really nice little Harvey School. I think it's Daisy Nosworthy or something like that. I might be wrong. But lovely with the lizard on the handle and the gum nuts and gum leaves. Beautiful little Remude vase with the two applied koalas on the branch. Melrose Toby jugs, fantastic. Lovely big Jolliffe jug again. And a fantastic big bit of Grace Seek and the large kookaburra. Should be a bit of fun in the end cabinets this week, guys. And this thing is damn cool as well. The Featherstone R160, I think. A rocking chair. Quite unusual to see one. It's in great original condition. Beautiful, beautiful thing. Heaps of cool sort of other bits of retro furniture and stuff this week. Nice little bright yellow sunbeam mixer there, all complete with the bowls and everything. Coffee tables, nice little framed oil painting there of the Paris end of Collins Street. Nice Italian lamps, pretty cool. Some more retro bits here. Oh, I like, kind of like this little um, garage cabinet or something like that with a little WB on the, across the front. Nice bits of lead light. 
More paintings. The big rope ladder. I think Aaron wanted to climb it yesterday and he was halfway up there before he realised it wasn't even tied on at the top. <laughs> you got to have a bit of fun, don't you guys, eh? We've got boxes of EP and stuff this week. Boxes of footy cards and sort of blokey gear. Nice big Keith Luby coloured etching up on the wall. Little tortoise shell. And a nice John Landara Hermansburg School watercolour. Quite a large one. Looks to be a full board size. Big boxes of books and rock specimens and cameras and stuff this week. A couple of Australian art reference books and some nice collection of pottery. Other nice stuff in the cabinet here. Uh, low pottery, the charger and the vase. Nice bit of remude. Big Sheila Ann piece over the back of what looks to be Sheila Ann. Little collection of Norwegian signed pewter. Some more nice little bits of Australian pottery, remued and the rest of it. Lovely big hand painted charger. What else have we got? It's got some really nice paintings this week as well, guys. This thing is an absolute cracker. The John Sterling Moore oil on canvas. A uh, little boating party there at Lake uh, Wakatipu in New Zealand. It is signed lower right and dated 1904. Beautiful, beautiful thing. I reckon it needs a new frame. A lovely painting though. We've got lots of nice stuff this week. Little Dora Chapman oils, a cracker. This is nice, a little Gwen French watercolour there up in the sort of snow fields or something like that. Uh, Audrey Snell still life's quite nice. What else have we got? These, I kind of like these. They look to be, I think, Ichuka. Quite naive, the pair of these are, and they're a little bit damaged, but they're damn cool. Look to be Ichuka in about sort of 1890, 1900. Little timber yard there. And little bridge looks to be over the Murray, which looks to be sort of a little bit drought. Or quite dry there. These are fantastic as well. The Martiners, signed Martiners felt paintings there of the Aboriginals. Lovely watercolours and stuff. We've got a nice John Sherlow etching this week. Uh, that'll sort of do us for the minute. I'll show you this nice little Reshid Bay oil painting. This little cracker. This is a nice little thing. One of my favourite painters actually. Love a little bit there with the abandoned house all signed lower left. Really nice little Reshid Bay oil. Pretty cool these, the pair of the Siebel stacking outdoor chairs. Nice big Tessa leather lounge suite there with the matching footstool. Yeah. Hills Hoist Salesman sample is an absolute cracker. It's been nice and windy and warm in Melbourne, so we've had this out the front with our socks and jocks drying. <laughs> well, nice bits of pottery and radios. The old Heckley electric heater signs, a cracker electric iron sign. Kangaroo fur little handbags, pretty cool. Nice group lot of man annuals there from the 1960s. Little A.M. Phillips oil is a lovely little bit as well. More nice bits of pottery, carton wear. Nice little Arsberg 1970s vase and a couple of bits of Pool Delphus, the charger and the little dish there. Swedish art glass bowl is a lovely bit all signed. Little Reg Preston vase, the yellow one. Pretty cool as well, the Spider-Man charger made by Monkey Ceramics. What else we got? More gents magazines, the bows there. Some cool old Australian and other comics. Big Brett Whiteley reference book. Nice big bit of John Campbell. It's a little bit damaged, which is a bugger. Uh, I kind of like this little portrait of Winston Churchill as well. It's unsigned, which is a shame. It's extremely well painted. Lovely little thing. More nice bits of remude. Little Johnny Walker whiskey jugs in great condition. Unusual shape. Little early cooker door. Fantastic little Ginger Megs trio. There you go. I think one of the sources has got a little chip out of it, which is a bit of a bugger, but it's a great little thing. Yeah, another nice little um, electric jug sign or advertising bit there. Nice bits of Australian woodwork, hand-painted pieces. Little Fritz Geneva jug there and a charger, unsigned, unusual. Big Dalton uh, chamber pot, or oh, first coffee cup in the morning. This thing's pretty amazing, the big Ogden's Battle Axe Bar Tobacco. Big enameled sign, it's got a little bit of damage, it is mounted on a wooden backing. Uh, fantastic bit, fantastic thing. Nice radio, big whiskey vats, pretty cool. It was full when it turned up. I like the old photograph of a Moomba. Um, Australian glass manufacturer's old Moomba float or something like that it looks to be. Really cool thing. Nice big Italian horse over the back there. Another remued vase or bowl. Upside down glass top hat's pretty cool. You could wear that to the Melbourne Cup. Bits of Winston Churchill, big David Williams. Crystalline glazed bowl, typical of him, lovely thing. And a nice little vase there as well by him to go with it. Little Charles Dickens books, a lovely thing with colour, uh, colour lithographic plates. Little snuggle pot and cuddle pie, early edition book, couple of bits of Fowler. This is pretty cool, little lot, the two Victorian China fairings. The couple getting into bed 
And the young chap getting a, looks like a bit of a spank or something, but something's broken out of her hand. Don't know what it was. <laughs> There's some more cool stuff. A couple of nice old oil bottles. The Castrol one there's a ripper. This is a nice old winning photograph from Richmond Racecourse. I think, what's the date on the bloody thing? 1930? I think it was owned by John Wren or something like that. Wasn't around very long, Richmond Racecourse. Little croquet set there from about 1880, made in Ballarat. Keynes Mustard String Dispenser, which is with a hole in the top and a weighted bottom, so it doesn't roll around as you're pulling the string out. <laughs> it's a Merrick Boyd Crewful, lovely big Melrose trough. Tins, nice little camera. I like this little sign as well, compliments from Tunbridges, the furniture people in Ballarat. Nice little match strikers there. It's an old Vic Rail or train ticket stamping machine. Lovely little compass out of a US naval ship. These are some old sort of wafer pill presses. This little photograph there, sunrise on the Tamar River. Some lovely stuff this week, guys. It's going to be a really bloody good sale. Uh, nice Australian pottery sort of 50s retro lamp over the back there. There's no marks, but it'll be Studio Anna or one of those mobs. Reg Preston lidded vat or jar. More nice lots of pottery and Australian art glass. Big Regal Mashman maroon coloured vase over the back is very unusual for them. Lovely deco sort of teapot and the big Melrose vase. These are two pretty cool photographs of, I think, Williamstown Baseball Club in about 1922 when they won the Labor Shield, which is a really important um, old baseball award for in Australia. These are interesting, interesting old team photographs. Some more lovely china, pottery, glassware, etc. Photographs, big candelabra, Austrian porcelain is a lovely thing. It's a little sort of lovely old light shades down the bottom. Another big bronze by A. Leonardis again, another one. They're slightly different, so different castings, but interesting things. Fantastic collection of Gents Cavalier magazines. The old teddy bear picnic sheet music by Ida Intool Uthwaite. Bloody sun's not much of a help, is it, at the moment? This is pretty cool as well. The Superman Color Comics number 32 featuring Lois Lane. Great little thing. Love this um, photograph there of the old man tree in the beech forest near Colac. What does it say? Girth, 73 and a half feet. There you go, there's a little bloke standing up on the on, on it there. Really cool thing, lovely original photograph. Little rubber sand bucket and spade. Really cool. Some more nice bits of Australian pottery, a Remudian, and a deer bond. Nice little Cheryl Smith uh, collar wood block over the back there of the possum. Old church collection, chip carved box there. Lovely boomerang. More bits of pottery and glass and stuff over the back. This is a really nice bit. This is the Hermansburg hand-painted Woomera by Ruben Pararulcha. First generation artist, quite unusual with the kangaroo on it. Lovely, lovely thing. Still got all the finial bound with natural fibres and the resin handle. Nice bits of remude again. And the lovely little Bendigo money box over the back. Another nice big uh, boomerang. A uh, little Daisy Merton kookaburra ashtray, I think, from memory. A little bit of Claris Cliff. Heaps of cool stuff this week, guys. Merrick Boyd, Remude, lovely Peg Clark photograph over the back. Unit Dearborn, Philippa James, little Bendigo character jug over the back there of, I think, John French. Great little bit. A lovely pair of sterling silver candlesticks. It's going to be a bloody good sale this week, guys. Here's a pretty cool, the Birds of Paradise there under the glass dome. Another big wool winder. Nice old pair of letter scales there with the original little basket to put your sort of letters in. And the old sterilizer cabinet. Yeah. That's about it. Big weekly walkabout this week, guys. In fact, we probably could have called it a weekly stroll about. Anyway, hopefully you saw something you liked. If you didn't, you're never going to see anything you like here. Because we've got so much good stuff this week. There you go. Anyway, be good. Take it easy. Keep out of shit.